he came as a speaker to present a model that the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants has been using um, to help transform the chartered accountancy profession. The model that uh, looks at how it is that you develop a chartered accountant and um, it starts basically at school level and goes all the way to someone qualifying as a chartered accountant. And what the model does is it tries to provide the kind of support and assistance, particularly to African and colored students, to eliminate any obstacles that might uh, trip them up towards qualifying as chartered accountants. So we work with universities, we work with business, we work with government in trying to make sure that those students that have the wherewithal, that have the academic ability and want to qualify, actually qualify, and not um, uh, you know, become victims of uh, poor throughputs at university. So what it's about is about a model that addresses the entire supply chain and says what we have at school level, what are the challenges, what are the barriers, and how do we begin to strategize to overcome those barriers so that we have the pool of candidates that are looking to study to become chartered. And then we also look at undergrad, postgrad, and at the QE level, or the water exam level, to say what are the obstacles in that space that we need to address in order for us to get the kind of pool that will begin to transform. As my boss always says, you can't do anything with those who already qualified. They are who they are. You can't change their race, you can't change their gender. You can't change them to see either. So those numbers will remain, so what you need to do is look at what the future looks like and how you begin to impact on the future is by looking at the supply chain <coughs> the end of, and the talent pool and how you get it. So we know we have a problem, particularly within our education system, but what can we do about it for our country, not just for ourselves? And I think that's within the mindset. So our value proposition focuses on uh, uplifting the value chain. On the left hand side there you see um, what the impact ultimately is. We hope to obviously contribute to the skills uh, market in, in our country. And then to Tuga itself, working within the triangle, the number of things that we do to ensure that the skills do come through. And of course, for our own needs as well at the bottom is the fact that we do need to grow our membership. We sit with over 300 qualified chartered accountants from this program. The program started in 2005, so it's only 12 years old. It takes seven years to qualify as a chartered accountant. So within the five years where we can qualify a chartered accountant, we've produced over 300. Each year going forward, we'll be producing at least 90 chartered accountants each year. We sit at honors level, which is the highest academic level, with about 500 students that we fund. At undergraduate level, we sit with 800 students that we fund. So the model is not based on going from the top down. It says, how do you get people in and get them through the system? So ours is based on making sure that we work with grade 10s, grade 11s, grade 12s to make them aware of the profession, to provide them with academic support if they need to, and then I'll provide them with financial support to get to university. When they get to university, we don't just leave them. We make sure they have accommodation, books, meals, all the things that a student needs. Proper wraparound support in terms of academics and psychosocial support so that they can make it through their degree. When they get to postgraduate level, we make sure that if they get tripped up, whatever, whatever the case might be, we assist them to get through. So our model makes sure that the scaffolding aspect actually happens and they actually qualify as chartered accountants. the Q&A yet, but I think the, 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 the audience understood exactly what I was talking about. And I think we find that wherever we go, because we're beginning to have the Tutuka model being used by other professions. In 2017, we were piloting it with medical doctors, with engineers, uh, with actuarial sciences, uh, scientists, nurses. So we are beginning to expand beyond the chartered accountancy profession. And the reason why people understand it is because I think many people know what the challenges are but have been stuck as to how do you begin to solve the problem. And what we've said is basically get started. If we didn't get started 12 years ago, we wouldn't have 300 chartered accountants that have come through the pipeline and about 80, 90 coming through each year. So part of what they understood today, and I understand that 
it's something they've embraced is the fact that you gotta get started. Ultimately, it's about making sure that every citizen of our country has equal opportunity to be whatever it is that they want to be. So for me, it's are you providing the kind, the proper kind of basic education? Are you providing the, the proper support at tertiary? Are you providing the kind of funding? In the professional world, are women getting the opportunities? Are you know black people getting the opportunities? It's not about fast-tracking someone. It's not about um, trying to circumvent whatever the issues are. It's about providing people with opportunities. Providing people with proper and fair opportunities, people will excel. Hence our model success. It's because it says, here's an opportunity. Students still have to study. They still have to go to class. It says to those who are trainees, you still have to write your board exams. You still have to do all of that. But we're giving you the opportunity. And that's what this transformation is for me. It's about saying, how do we as a country across professions provide the opportunity that will give us the kinds of skills that will help grow our economy.